Hello everyone, we are in Bonnie Scotland once again, but this time way up in the Highlands. Here we meet up with another overseas investor in Scotland, Laurent from France, and I think it is testament to Scotland's wonderful sporting heritage that continues to attract the overseas investor. A culture that has endured for centuries, allowing generations of keepers and gillies and all manner of country folk to eke a living out of this harsh landscape. And hopefully in this film, we can show you how the very far reaches of the Highlands have indeed some wonderful sport to offer the visiting sportsmen. Please enjoy. Morning, Ewan. Morning. Yeah. Well, I'm at the, the very uppermost uh, parts of Scotland, uh, about an hour above Inverness, aren't we? Yeah, about 40, like 40 miles. And, uh, uh, I'm going to do a bit of deer stalking this morning. Uh, I thought we'd just show you the, the type of territory that we'll be roaming over. Yeah. Uh, we're coming to the end of the rut just now, so yeah. we're in the last couple of days of the stags. So yeah, my first it. stag as well. Is yeah. it? Oh, well. My first red stag. Anyway. We'll make sure and get you blooded yeah. as well. I'm sure yeah. the keepers will take care of that. Yeah, beautiful. But <laughs> not dressed for the, for the occasion, really, but uh, we've just come from our beautiful accommodation. Uh, the Lynx House was a fantastic, uh, and thanks very much for re yeah. recommending it. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. We just thought we'd stop and just show you the the, uh, the dramatic locations that uh, that you can come across in Scotland. It is a beautiful, wild place. So this is actually a salmon run here. The salmon do actually run through here. There's two salmon rivers. Two different estates, there's two different salmon rivers. Morning, how are you all? Fine. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. <laughs> Fine morning for it. Yeah. <laughs> It's uh, fantastic to be at Trasadi Estate and uh, thank you once again Ewan for organising this. I'd just like to ask uh, as, a, uh, as a Frenchman, yeah. how did you come to, uh, come to such a beautiful place? Are you, is it uh, just a, a fancy investor, investment or are you a true countryman that likes to invest in the country sports in, in Scotland? Yeah, thank you Dave. Um, yeah, it's uh, a long love story with Scotland. Yeah. Uh, since in the 90s, so I always had the feeling if one time I could afford me, I would just, you know, uh, buy a sporting estate in Scotland just to enjoy it. And I think, yeah, like everywhere in the world, the uh, field sport are, is not something very secure for the future. So uh, to look at it uh, like an investment, I would say it's very shaky. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to be very passionate about it to, to run a sporting estate. To come and find a little duel like this, Laurent, I think uh, it's a thumbs up all the way around it. Well, I'm stood with the, the ex keeper, Laurent, from uh, Trasadi Estate, and one of the most important things uh, of it's my first red stag, and one of the most important things is, uh, is actually getting the rifle out and uh, having a, a, a practice zeroing the rifle in, making sure the, 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 the person actually pulling the trigger can, is up to the job and killing the quarry that we're after, he's got to be killed cleanly. about another two or three thousand metres up that hill. So we've got a fair walk here.
they should just be over the top of this hill. Over in there, I'll get up to this tree and see if we can see them from there. We just seen two, two hours stalking, and the stalker, uh, Adam, has uh, sighted the, the herd. Oh, bad for that way, yeah, if we go around that way, we'll just win them. Yeah. So hopefully we're going to get, uh, we're trying to get near them again. Just going to have to sneak around here and see. But just hopefully the wind doesn't get us. see them. But unfortunately they winded us and uh, and that was the last time we saw them. They've all just run. So that was the end of this particular stalk. But anyway, on to the next one. It's ever too close for them. Well Adam, that's a little ghost. <laughs> and some of you say again to you. I did get quite close on uh, one or two occasions. Just too close was the problem. Yeah. Just they were in, in that wee hole, we couldn't get any closer. We, we know we're, we might be able to find another, so yeah. we're going to have another go. But, uh, we have been a couple of hours. The day's not over yet. And uh, we found them once. I know the others chat will find them again. Where's the, where's the passage drive? There's one drive up that way and then oh, there's right. another drive kind of further out that way. Right. It's only the two that we have. Alan managed to spot another one up, and uh, we're going to. It's on top of this uh, one of these hills here. We've got a fair old trek here, but I've got to follow this young antelope here, <laughs> and that's really like most like an antelope. So, but I've got to try my best to follow him. It, it is tough going, but that is stalking, and you know it's it's not easy. But I've come to see the day out, so we'll hobble along. <laughs> we'll see if we can get something. Cheers, Adam. Thank you. After about an hour and a half into the stalk, we started to hind up the hill. So I'm thinking, thank God, not far away now. As you can hear, I'm about done in.
No, the one below them, to the left. There's one standing up and then there's one to the left. The one shot down? Yeah, but not that, there's a hind to the right and there's a, a stag to the left. He's the stag to the left and he's pulled his head down. The one that's shot down? Yeah. There's two of them. Shoot him on that, he's up. Head down? Yeah. No. Nothing else? No, it's him down. Well done. Well done, buddy. Well done. Whew. Well, <laughs> the elation is unreal. You know, it's been a fair day. We've been at it, what, six, five, six hours now. And my old knees packing in now but we finally got to him and uh, had him pick one out about 100, what, 180, 180, yeah. 180 uh, meters away and first shot is uh, he were down very ethical kill so I'm, that's what I'm pleased about we had a couple of chances early on but Adam wasn't happy, happy with the, uh, the situation, so we passed those up. And this is what stag hunting is all about. Stalking is all about. It's getting the one that you want and that is ethical and, and the estate and the, and the stalker is, is happy with. You've got to win a stag. You, and I mean, you've got to win it. You've got to walk and it's hard walking, but it's well worth the walk and the culminating fact is that I've got my first red stag and I love it. My daughter had one two or three years before me, but she's, a, a, you know, a bloody, an actual, uh, she's a huntress herself and she loves to go stalking. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a driven bird shooting man, as, pe as people know, but this has been a great experience. And I hope, hopefully I'll come back again and, and repeat the, uh, the experience because it's fantastic. You do get touched with emotion when you do it. And you can probably hear that now. Yeah. He was doing it all the way, wasn't he? Yeah, he was facing that way. Well enough said. Absolutely fantastic stalk. And, uh, you know, just very ethical kill. Very pleased. And uh, as I say, my first red stag, chuffed a bits. Nine pointer, he's a fantastic beast. Well done. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, uh, we're a good killer as well. So. Yeah, straight through, straight, straight across, straight through the shoulders, perfect. Right through his lungs. Yeah. Perfect. He wouldn't have run very far. But while I'm, while I'm on camera, and, you know, I've had a fantastic day, fantastic scenery. I'd just like to say something to the likes of Chris Packham. On my way up here from Yorkshire, there's thousands of buzzers in the sky up in Yorkshire, and there's thousands of buzzers in the sky over Scotland. What I want to know is what Chris Packham's going to do when they close all the, the game shooting down, because that's the only thing, places these buzzers are feeding, on the commercial shoots. So he can't have it both ways, plenty of predator and no prey, because that's what's going to happen. There'll be no prey whatsoever when they close the commercial shoots down. And that is a plain fact. You know, if it close one thing down, what they're going to feed on. There ain't enough of, of our wild indigenous species to keep the, the thousands and thousands of predators that's been quite successfully released and bred and and they are successful, there's no denying that. But if you look at where, where these predators are in, in numbers, they're all around the big commercial estates. This film is about showing the diversity of sport available on just one Scottish estate in the Highlands. And it is quite possible on Tosadi to shoot a stag, have a passage drive and the possibility of shooting a duck. What more could you ask for? Here we 
are on this epic journey to the first drive. Everything's in spate. We've had a lot of water. Uh, we, we're at uh, Trasadi Estate shooting partridge and uh, some fair old hills here to throw them off. Here we are in the Scottish Islands with three of the most glorious girls. Well, birds, you know, because we are bird shooting today, and I've just got for three proper birds, all the way from Yorkshire. Yeah, they've been galloping about in the bracken. An old uh, one-eyed Thomas, or one-tooth Thomas, has found them. <laughs> Shenanigans going off in the in the rocky outskirts of the the Highlands. The rocky birds from Yorkshire. Ta -ta. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm Todd Warnock, the proprietor of Lynx House, and my partner, Elizabeth Chamberlain, are very happy to have you here. Uh, today, I understand, was your first stag stock first and uh, was very successful, oh, so no. <clears throat> that's exciting. Ewan has worked particularly hard uh, up here uh, to bring people from all over the world to come north to the north of Scotland and to see all of the amazing things that are here in the area of country sport. I originally came here in 2003 to play golf. Royal Dornick Golf Club, as you can see, is about 110 yards away, the first tee there. I don't know if you guys are golfers, but that's currently ranked the fifth golf course in the world. And there are about 20,000 people that come here to play golf every year. And I came here in 2003 and had an extraordinary experience. But that's not what caused me to come back. What caused me to come back was I got talking to friends and I love to fish and I love to shoot and I love to cycle and uh, I had never been stag stalking. And so I came back in 2004 and went stag stalking for the first time, not far from where you're going to go down at Tomaton at Coin of Fairness Estate. 
And if you go in the Muse building that we have right here with has four suites in it, in the main hallway, there's a Royal, which was the first stag I ever shot. Um, and that was sort of my introduction to country sports. We're very, very pleased about that, too. Well, <laughs> this, is a, this is one of the most fantastic places that we've ever stopped in, believe me. Well, and I, I could, I'd like to put a hand together just to Thank you very much. I would just like to say two words to describe our stay at the Lynx House. Absolutely fantastic.